before I turned 30, I had someone say to me, you know what, you watch out, it's all downhill from here. And I remember thinking, what does that mean? There's this idea that as we age, we have no control over what happens to our body and that it's over when you hit 30, 35, 40. And I remember saying, well, if that's the excuse that you wanna give yourself to explain why your health has deteriorated, you can feel free to do that. The body doesn't control us. We get to determine our health outcome. We get to determine how our body ages. Are we going to allow our body to succumb to this disease, to aging, to obesity? We have choices. A state of ketosis is typically associated with more balanced and um, level uh, glucose and insulin in your blood. And so a lot of people kind of say they, they don't have these major swings in their energy, um, which I think is, is a big benefit for a lot of people. I think that a properly functioning metabolism and metabolic flexibility is key to overall health. I think that that's just clear from the fact that we know as we age, uh, our metabolic um, function declines. You can suppose that keeping, maintaining a healthy functioning metabolism is going to be important. On a ketogenic diet, you can gain just as much muscle, just as much strength, but on top of that, you lose more body fat. So I think it's one of the most beneficial things we've seen is that your body can switch over this unique fuel source, ketones, it can only perform as well, it can only gain as much strength and power and muscle, but again, it optimizes body composition. What limits people is often their ability to use ketones. So there are people, they can't use glucose very well at all, right? So ketones is a much better fuel for them, but we've also found that to overcome things like this, you should use exercise. So the more exercise, the more movement that you get, the more your cells can actually use ketones. So that's why what we always say, you know, myself, Dr. Ryan Lowry basically is that, ideally the first thing that you should do is take ketones, right? A lot of people are not very well conditioned. So when they do a ketogenic diet, they can't make ketones very well, okay? So you can overcome that by taking ketones. Once you start doing that and you can use them better, then we recommend going on a ketogenic diet and then to optimize it, do exercise because that improves ketone uptake.